Hello, I read the book Beyond the Double Bind by Kathleen Hall Jameson. This book explores the idea that double binds have held women back from gaining gender equality over time. Jameson defines a double bind as a rhetorical construct that posits two and only two alternatives, one or both penalizing the person being offered them. A more straightforward way of describing a double bind is with the phrase, damned if you do, damned if you don't. Double binds gain their power because they create a black and white view when the complex issues that they describe require much more diverse thinking. Jameson identifies five double binds that contribute to gender equality. Womb, brain, silence, shame, sameness, difference, femininity, competence, and aging, invisibility. Each chapter focuses on one double bind and traces its origins in history, how society reinforced the belief, as well as the remaining presence of the double bind in modern society. The womb brain double bind stems from women's reproductive capacity. Believe it or not, people used to believe that the womb and the brain competed for a woman's energy and that using one would deplete the other. Women were denied access to education, which created a self-fulfilling prophecy because women were then denied opportunities in the public sphere because they did not have an educated mind. This double bind is present in modern society as women struggle to have it all, a career and motherhood. For each double bind, Jameson details dozens of situations in which female leaders confronted double binds in real life. For example, in the womb brain chapter, Jameson writes, Attorney General nominee Zoe Baird was asked how many hours she spent at home with her children and who took care of them in her absence. Problematic is the fact that these questions were never addressed to any male nominee. So what use is understanding these double binds if we can't combat them? Jameson concludes the book by describing the tools we can use to destroy double binds and stereotypes. These tools are reframing, recovering, reclaiming, recounting, and confounding. The definition of reframing is my favorite. It invites an audience to view a set of options from a different perspective and confront the fact that the options offered are false. When we use reframing, we take away the, du the double binds power by acknowledging that the situation is more complex than the explanation of a simple dichotomy. What I hope you take away from this video is that double binds are rhetorical constructs that reduce complex situations into black and white terms. They have been instrumental in preventing gender equality for women. For example, the womb-brain double bind describes a self-fulfilling prophecy in which women were denied education and because they were uneducated were then denied opportunities in the public sphere. Finally, there are many ways to fight back, including the idea of reframing, which allows you to view a situation from a different perspective. I now face my future career with a toolbox of ideas to confront anti-feminist beliefs in the workplace. I hope I've piqued your interest because I consider this book a must read, especially for women aspiring to leadership roles.